Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today is day 53, season 2, so that's going to be done. So off down here, we have the Disco, Defender, Captra and the Honda Quad parked up. Then here we have Farmer's Son uh, in the Golf, he's just topped in there and he's about to go take it for a spin uh, down the lane. The Art Scraper, Blooming Roller in the shed. And here we have the uh, Eiffel Williams flatbed trailer. So this is where it's going to be living for now. Because uh, it's not really needed to be in a shed, it doesn't really uh, need to be under any shelter, especially this time of year, uh, unlike the uh, mower and rake and stuff like that. So it's going to be living here until it's used um, for a job, and same with the herd, it doesn't really need to be uh, in the shed. But it's not really used this time of year either, so it just stays in the shed. But it also frees up space in the shed for if we need to put anything in there. So yeah, for now it's just going to be living there. And then you've got the attachments, uh, John Deere Gator, oil tank, cheap trailer, and the new Holland 26175 In the shed we have the John Deere bear wrapper, uh, class one baler, class rake, few mower, lawn mat and a KTM dirt bike. And here we have the Master Ferguson 5612 parked up on the buck rake. Uh, so this has just been parked up uh, since the other day when we did second cut. Uh, pit size, so not really had to use any of these, so we just sort of left it there for now. Um, it will probably go in the shed um, at some point. And in the shed here, we have the uh, Coombe Fertilizer Spreader, Ice Ferguson 6616, part up, John Deere 6920S, part up, uh, John Deere Charles Farger, part back up, and the spearhead has got in the background there. Then here we have the farmer. And the new Horn 7740. He's parked up on the Keenan uh, feeder. And then here we have a farmer in his mint uh, New Horn T7300 Blue Power. Uh, so this is his biggest tractor uh, that he has on his farm. Um, and he's after well, any of the Keenans really. Um, so you, this is a two net fibers, three six five. Uh, and there's like uh, there's one that came out. I don't know, probably about a couple of years ago and there's like a newer one. Um, but because he doesn't really want to go for a double axle one, uh, maybe he can try and get a single axle one like this one. So he's just having a look over it. Uh, just making, uh, just to really have a look to see if he actually wants to buy this one. And see if it would be good enough for his farm or would he go for a bigger one. So we just pulled out of the shed for him. Um, and then we're going to just let's turn it on um, and then we're going to spin it around so you can see it better in the sun um, and yeah see if he wants to uh, buy uh, a similar one to ours and here we have the JCB Mini Digger parked up uh, from the Italian Army Double Bailister uh, has been uh, just dropped off uh, sort of abandoned really because um, we had to get the Eiffel Wings uh, Fabber Trailer out of the shed so we kind of just dropped it off there, but we probably will put it in the shed for now. Uh, then we get the new Holland Mini Baylor and the Herbs Pump Trailer. And here we have the uh, Marston Size Trailer, uh, parked up after uh, blowing up the size. You can still see there's a lot of it, yeah. a bit of size in it. Uh, and then we go over to the pit, um, it's quite full, it's halfway full, um, so we might not do third cut. Uh, or we might not do uh, the same field, we might do a smaller field just so we don't get as much grass because there's a lot of grass in there um, and yeah just to really uh, not feed uh, the animals too much because obviously we still have to have the bales and we want to get rid of them before the animals go out preferably um, but yeah we've currently got a lot which is better than last year uh, I think I think it was similar size to that with third cut last year, I'm not sure. Uh, I think there's a bit more. Um, I think the master was actually in front of the pit, it wasn't even in the pit. But yeah, we'll see what third cut gives us um, and see how the future goes if we even have to do three, three cuts uh, for silage. Then we have the bale trail there and then we have all the bales stacked there. Then in the field, uh, we have all the using lambs here. And then we've got the chickens, chicks, ducks and ducks there. So, the weather's been a bit on and off really. Um, so hopefully, 
next couple of days are sunny, so hopefully we can get uh, all the ewes and lambs gathered up and start shearing the ewes and then start separating the lambs, stuff like that. So, yeah, at some point we will um, probably separate the lambs either during shearing or after shearing, um, but the ewes definitely need to be uh, sheared because it's getting quite hot now, um, which is nice for once because the weather's been a bit not maybe a bit wintry really for summer but yeah and then you've got all the calves and calves in here same with the calves these will have to be taken out same with the meg lambs um, and then whatever lambs are left over that are too small will go in here so they don't go back to their mums um, and then you've got the free chickens there uh, just knock them around the field uh, so yeah so yeah quite uh, quite quiet on the farm today um, yeah, hopefully it will start to get busy in the uh, coming episodes. And then down the lane we have the farmer in his uh, T7 270 uh, with his NC uh, 2500 gallon tanker on the back. Uh, going to spread some slurry. I think he's just uh, cut his grass. So he had a bit of slurry left over so he can spread that, help it grow a bit quicker. Uh, and then behind him we have the dealership van. Um, I'm heading back to the dealership or heading uh, from one uh, farm to another, not too sure, um, but yeah, so yeah, he's been uh, quite flat out so far, um, with uh, just jobs really, farmers needing kit to be fixed or stuff like that, because uh, a lot of farmers um, have been struggling uh, with, um, well I say a lot, a couple of farmers around the area have uh, needed to get people in to do uh, work for them so he's been quite flat out uh, I think they've only got two vans that go out um, so I mean, this is one of them so he's either going back to the dealership or going to another another job so yeah so enjoy the video guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and bye